What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully unlock um, engineering mode in your Mercedes uh, vehicle. Uh, now, I've already done a video on this previously where I sort of show on how to access that. Uh, but there have been um, a number of comments relating to people who haven't really been able to uh, access the engineering mode following that uh, activation method. Um, so what I would like to do is, first of all, explain uh, the reason behind why uh, some people are not actually able to gain access to that. Um, and then uh, we will um, go through the settings here um, on, on how to... Um, get that to work. So essentially you will be able to enable it and then you should be able to follow the previous video which I'll have a link to in the description and it should also appear at the right top hand corner uh, where you can click on that and then go, go through this steps to actually understand the engineering mode, how to access it and what it sort of uh, entails as we're not going to go into too details over that in this video. So this is just purely to show um, on how to sort of um, uh, enable the option to be able to activate the engineering mode for those who actually have it disabled. Um, so the reason behind um, why some vehicles you're not able to access this um, is because in the past Mercedes used to allow this for vehicles manufactured before um, December 20, 2015. Um, but the problem with that was many um, uh, non-technical users uh, who were just going into the settings and then tempering with the settings that are only applicable to um, sort of, uh, you know, a Mercedes qualified engineer or a technician who should be tempering with those settings. Uh, and then they were causing additional issues by doing that. Um, hence why Mercedes then disabled that for any future software versions um, of this device right here. Um, or if your vehicle was actually manufactured uh, post um, January 2016. Um, hence why you need to perform this additional step in order to reactivate that so you're then able to um, you know enter a few key uh, steps onto the uh, keypad right here of your infotainment system and then you'll be able to uh, activate that. So um, if you have a vehicle that's sort of purchased or built um, after 2016 um, or if you've had a software update through Mercedes, then most likely they would have had that option disabled um, and hence why you wouldn't really be able to access that. So to, in order to restore that, uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, get the vehicle in ignition mode. Uh, so as you can see, currently um, the, the cluster here um, is, is actually off. Uh, we're not actually in ignition mode. Um, so what you want to do is, if you have the keyless option, you then just simply want to press the um, the engine on and off button once. Or if you if you don't have this option, then you just want to flip the key to the right just once, and that that should get the vehicle into ignition mode. And once you're in ignition mode, you should see that the vehicle um, uh, infotainment system will come come back on um, and also the speedometer will be displayed here uh, and we have access to the, the menu um, option here that we can see uh, right there. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, follow a number of uh, commands on the steering wheel um, options here. So we're going to go ahead and sort of navigate um, forwards so you will see uh, if you have a non-AMG vehicle then you shouldn't really see that menu and you should be able to go straight into trip, navi, audio, uh, tell uh, and then assist, serve uh, which is the uh, service option uh, and then we should be able to go into settings which is right here. Uh, once you're in that um, you want to sort of uh, navigate downwards uh, so you want to go into um, factory setting right here uh, and then you want to click on OK on your steering wheel. Um, so if you click on OK on that, it will then tell you reset all settings and you would need to click on yes for that. Now, the reason I'm not going to do that is I have actually uh, done that in the past and there's no need for me to perform that again. Uh, and therefore, I'm actually able to access the settings. Um, by settings, sorry, I mean I'm able to access the engineering mode. Uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and reset all my settings here, uh, but this is something that you would need to do uh, in order to gain access 
um, into the engineering uh, engineering mode. Um, so yeah, you would go ahead and click on OK, uh, on Yes, sorry, uh, OK on the steering wheel, um, and then I think it will perform. It'll take a few minutes, um, depending on the software version uh, or the vehicle that, that, that you have. Um, and then once it's completed, uh, you should see the infotainment system restart. Uh, you shouldn't be seeing this sign, but you will see the inf infotainment system here uh, sort of restarting. Uh, and then you would have essentially lost all of your settings. So if you had any safe profiles, um, you know, audio settings, if you tamper with any settings related to the vehicle, whether it was in the infotainment system here or uh, it was over here um, on, on the speedometer, uh, they will all be reset. Uh, but this is what's sort of uh, going to allow you to be able to gain access into engineering mode. So hence uh, why it's required this one time to uh, lose your settings, but then to regain that uh, once you perform this action. Um, and then we should be able to access the engineering mode uh, by, you know, um, a few key presses here, which I've already covered as part of the previous video, so I'm not going to go into too details over that here. Um, I will have linked to that description uh, to that video in the description and in the right top hand corner, where you can go through that video uh, after watching this if you're not able to access it uh, by watching that video. Um, just one one more thing to note as well, this may or may not work for you. Um, and the reason why I say that um, is because if you have one of the latest versions, um, software versions of this infotainment system, so whether your vehicle was built, you know, in 2016 plus, um, it doesn't really matter whether, whether it was built in 2017, 18, 2019, before the facelift version came in. Because um, if you've had if you have taken this vehicle to the Mercedes dealership and let's say you've had some issues with the infotainment system where they may have updated a software update or for any other reason they may have you know sort of covered the software update as part of a warranty or a service and you have you're running one of the latest versions of the um, uh, audio system here uh, then most likely you will not be able to access that uh, engineering engineering mode by even performing the uh, factory re said here or watching the previous video on how to enter the engineering mode um, and the reason for that is is because Mercedes then realized um, you know in, in the latest software versions they sort of realized that people were actually resetting this option here and then they were still able to gain access into the engineering mode which they should not have been doing in the first place um, so hence why they've sort of disabled that um, going forth um, into the latest uh, software versions um, of of this device here, um, which would mean that there is no way for you to get get into the engineering mode unless you connect one of the uh, specialist kits like the Zentry, um, uh, you know, the uh, toolkit that Mercedes uses. Then that would be the only option for you to actually tamper with anything related to uh, the settings from engineering mode. Um, and that's really it for this video. So I hope those of you who haven't been able to gain access will now be able to gain access if you don't have the latest software version from Mercedes. Uh, and then you should be able to uh, play around with the engineering mode settings that are available um, for your specific version. Um, so as, I'll, as always, um, I'll end the video here. But if you guys found this useful, please make sure to give the video a massive thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I'll do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And uh, also check out some of my other uh, Mercedes videos uh, relating to various other um, uh, methods that, that I haven't covered as part of this video. Uh, but there, there is a playlist to that. It will be available in the um, video description. And you should also see it popping up on the right-hand corner. Until next time, peace out. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away